Hey guys, uh, today we're going to do a simple pop design. So, got everything I need here. Uh, I'll go over it as I use it. So, let's get started. I'm going to set everything aside. Start off, we're going to need a pencil and canvas and something round. So, uh, I'm going to go with a slightly bigger canvas for this. And I'm going to do a rabbit, like a little cartoony rabbit. So I'm just going to take my circle, do my pencil. All right. Uh, give him some very short ears to fit on the canvas. There's two kind of oval shapes, almond shapes actually. And there's his ears. And uh, let's see, for his eyeballs we're going to give him some big, I don't know how big I want to make his eyes. Uh, maybe like that big. Mark right there, so I can kind of go straight across and find my center. Is that this one? I want to be maybe about right there. Have his eye on this side. There we go. And uh, I'm going to do some. Uh, cartoony eyes, so we're just going to put a couple of circles, so a big circle, small circle, and a smallest, let's see what size was that, we'll use uh, that right there, so for this side we're just going to do two small circles, because it's kind of half an eye, all right, Give my nose and the mouth. Just gonna be a simple triangle. Let's see. We'll bring that around. And we'll give him some teeth. Very simple design. <laughs> give <him> some <laughs> we'll give him a little hand. Give him a tiny little T-Rex hand. There we go, and we'll give him the legs, or feet, big thumpers, uh, let's see, uh, how do I want to do this, there we go, and then I'll give him a tail, So basically, an almond shape, and then like a half circle. Maybe it might make his hand a little bit more, uh, more round. Actually give him a couple of fingers instead of just one. All right. Leg there, to the foot, do a little round there. Alright. We'll give him a foot on this side. Alright, so what we're going to do is once we get our sketch done, uh, you know what, I'm probably going to fix this. There we go. 
Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, got our sketch done. So we're gonna use a Sharpie for the next step. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna play with these ears just a little bit. I think I like that better. All right, there we go. So now, <clears throat> we're gonna use a Sharpie, just a fine point, and we're gonna do our uh, first uh, ink line. And you know, you need to move your canvas around, get a comfortable angle on it. Um, I'm trying to keep this in frame while I do this. And what the Sharpie's gonna let us do is we can paint over the lines and we can still see through them. So um, we erase all the pencil. We have some nice clean lines. Alright. I'm gonna make this a kind of a heart shape right there at the top. whiskers at the very end. So let me see, what did I use for his eyeballs again? I have so many stencils, I, uh, I don't know which ones I used. Okay, I think it was this one. There we go. Oh yeah, it was this one. Alright. And you can do this freehand if you want. I like to do stencils because uh, I like to get those real clean, crisp lines. Right. Let's do our circles here. Again, we're going to do a smaller circle here. I'll give it a that size, and then uh, just line up. I want to bring it all the way around and join my... So the thing I like about these kneaded erasers is you, they stretch, they're like these little rubber putty erasers. And they erase really, really well, and you can shape them into different uh, shapes, and you can do a lot of blending and dabbing and all sorts of stuff. What I like about them is they really clean up pencils without leaving a huge mess. Like as I erase it, the whole canvas is just getting cleaned up. It does a real good job of getting those pencils out. Other erasers kind of smear it around on the canvas, but I think this can get down to the texture of the canvas and just really do a good job. All right. So once uh, you get it all cleaned up, we're ready to paint. So with the pop art, it's just basically a, a handful of colors. 
So I'll use um, one color for the rabbit, I'll use a lighter color for the highlights, and then I'll darken it with a little brown for the shadows. And, you know, keep it simple like pink, pink. Um, I'm going to do the rabbit in yellow. I already have some yellow paint I mixed up. I added some white to it and uh, it's going to give it a little bit more opacity than just a plain yellow. But any color you want, uh, choose your color for your bunny. Now, for pop art like this, I really love these cheap brushes. Um, I use square brushes for most of this pop art. It uh, helps you get a nice, clean, crisp edge. Uh, this is $5 for all these brushes, and I have a bunch of different size square brushes. But I'm going to use one that I've had for a while. It's a uh, number four Liquitex Basic Bright, uh, but it's just a square brush. And I'm actually going to use another size too. So I'm, actually, I'm probably going to use this size right here, which is a number 18 flat. Um, so, enough talking. Very easy, as I said. We're just going to take our paint, dip it, and paint. I got a little hair in there. Now with the yellows, oranges, really light color paints like this, you want to be careful um, if you get any hair or like brushes in there to pick them out. Usually these nylon brushes, I don't get a lot of hair falling out, but if you're using like a natural hair brush, you're going to get hair in it and uh, you want to get rid of it with these lighter colors, you'll see that hair. You're just going to basically like a coloring book. And we're just going to go over the entire thing with the yellow. As you can see, like I said, I really like doing the Sharpie. Um, after you erase the pencils, you paint it. And you're not going to get the, uh, the pencil in your paint. And it's not going to muddy it up and dirty it up. Um, and you can still see with the Sharpie what we're doing. So when we do our final line work, we can fill it in without worrying about where the lines were. And I don't mind going into the edge of the eyeball because I'm going to paint the eyeball black. So I don't mind going in there because the black's going to cover up the yellow with no problem. So just get a nice flat uh, layer. I don't like getting brush textures in the, the uh, pop art like this. So I use, uh, typically for the paint, I use Liquitex Basics. The mix right here is actually Liquitex uh, Heavy Body. And I've used uh, about 80% white. And then 20% yellow. Sorry, I meant 80% uh, yellow, about 20% white. Adding the white gives it a little bit of opacity, so it's easier to cover things up. You have to do less layers. There we go. Our rabbit is painted. Now, I'm going to let it dry and do a couple of layers. Usually with yellow, I'll have to do probably about four layers to get a nice solid color. Um, with darker colors, like if you were using a brown or another color, you could probably do two layers. 
So what I like to do is just a couple of layers of paint to get a real nice, solid, flat, opaque color. So what I'm going to use, I'm deciding between the uh, light portrait pink, or I have a uh, magenta. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, the nose in magenta, and I'm going to do the ears in the light portrait paint. So this is the Liquitex Basics. And with the magenta, I can do two layers of paint. And it'll do the job, it'll cover it nicely. There we go, so his nose is done. Very easy. And then we'll do the ears. And we'll give it that portrait pink so it's a little bit lighter. Well, it's a lot lighter actually. And you don't have to worry about going on the lines. Um, it's totally fine. We're going to cover that up with a marker when we do our final line work. Let's fill that in. And there we go. Ears are done. Well, the first layer is done. We're going to obviously need to do a couple more layers. And then I'm going to take my titanium white and I'm going to fill in the little eyeball uh, reflective parts. Because yes, your canvas is white but uh, it's not clean white, it's like an off-white color. So even though it's white, we want to have a nice bright clean white in there. So we're going to use the titanium white and we're going to do again a couple layers of that. I'll do his teeth. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. If you want to speed up the process, you can use a blow dryer. Uh, the yellow is already mostly dry. I can see a few wet spots here and here, a um, little bit around here because of the, uh, the paint is a little bit more liquid with the yellow. So it's gonna take just a little longer to dry, uh, but it should be about five, 10 minutes to dry. And then we can do another layer, let it dry do another layer until we get it all built up and solid and so we'll check in uh, when we get done with our layers all right so we're at the last step here uh, what we're gonna what we did was we did all our layers we did our shadows we did our highlights painted the background white so now we're gonna do our final line work and I'm gonna use a uh, broad line. It's basically it's a paint pen. It's like a like an enamel I think. There we go. So you see the ink is uh, seeping in there. Again, that'll take a minute. Once you get your marker going, it's pretty good. You don't have to worry. You just depress the tip a couple of times here and there. Shake it up.
All right, so I got ink on my tip, and I just do a couple of lines to make sure there's no excess ink. And I'm going to just start with the big line here. Line up, uh, line that up. I'm going to have to move that just a little. Uh, and then slowly trace your line. You don't have to move too fast. Now, an important thing when using stencils, let it dry for a second and lift up. Don't slide your stencil. You can give your stencil a little uh, rub to get any excess ink off. Because if you uh, slide it, you could get smears and smudges. You don't want that. There we go. Let's see. Let's start here. Just find a comfortable spot to start. Just move slow. Don't move too fast. Just slow and steady. I like to let it kind of dry for a second. That way if I put my hand down, it doesn't smudge if you need. Use a piece of paper. That way it'll absorb in paper instead of uh, smudging. that and give me some fingers. Get these little toes done. And you know, move your canvas around so it's comfortable. Get a good angle on it. Get his tail here. And as you practice with the marker, you'll get better lines. Like right there, I messed up a little bit. But what I can do is just thicken that line. And that looks good.
the eyes. Remember what I used for his eyes. It was this one here. Nope. It was this guy here. Okay, I'll let that. So what I'll do with these, uh, just messed it up a little bit, but I'll put my finger on a corner and look from the other so I don't get any smudges. Line that up there. Finger in the corner and lift. And let me see what size did I use for these. I think it was that one right there. Lined up. Let me do our circle. that size right there. so any excess ink is uh, not smudging around. This one right here. And then this last tiny one. I'm going to say that guy right here. I think it was the next size down, but... There we go. And then with your marker, make sure you store it upright. And we're just going to take our brush and we're going to paint the black in. And I'm going to use uh, the heavy body because it's closer to me than the other paint. And I use Mars Black because it has a very nice coverage. And it's uh, flat, it's not glossy. Of course, you can color the eyes different colors. You can give, uh, you can make it a ruby eyed bunny, give them blue eyes, green eyes, whatever color you want. I like the black, it's uh, for the simple paintings, it's nice, it stands out. Just 
take your time around the edges, don't rush it. other eye. up that one little spot there. Now when I have a little touch up I'm going to use this brush here. It's a three Liquitex uh, square brush. And where I went just a little hair in there. So what I want to do, I'm going to use a cap here. I want to kind of get it worked on the brush a little bit. And I'm just going to very carefully touch up right there where just a little hair got in there. All right, now we sign it and we're done. There you go. Very simple, very easy to do pop, very quick. You can do this a uh, couple of these a day if you really wanted to. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, just a heads up, in 2019, any bunny paintings that I do and I sell, 100% of the money made from those will be going to a rabbit rescue society. So I'm going to put some information in the uh, description, some links, so that you can purchase some and support a good cause. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. And I just noticed uh, I forgot the bottom of his foot here, so we're going to do that real quick. And sometimes you forget a little bit of detail. But now we are officially done. There we go. And funny enough, <laughs> I forgot to do the nose. I'm really missing all my detail here today. So we'll do that nose real quick. Now, I believe we are actually for the third time, <laughs> third time's a charm, right? We are done. So there's our bunny picture, nose, bottom of the feet and all. All right, and I forgot, of course, the whiskers. I added those in, um, I didn't record that, but just use your ruler, uh, straight edge, couple of lines, couple of dots and then you have some whiskers and now finally 
<laughs> Finally, he is complete. 